Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake. And together we are Beauty and the Bear. So today we're watching Death Note. So today we're jumping back into Death Note Season 1, Episode 7, Overcast. Let's get it going. Let's do it. The Twin Towers. <laughs> Oh, is that the investigator? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. Still in all the beans. The fact remains, this woman knows the truth. I have no choice but to eliminate her. Oh, no. Oh, it's nothing. We can't waste any time. We need to start investigating it right away. So, have you told anyone else about this? No, you're the first person I've told. Fuck. <laughs> you're lucky, but how will you get rid of her? Uh, aren't you bold? Let's get started. Could you please tell me the date and time of the bus jacking incident? It was December 20th, in front of Asagao Hill. And they were on their way to Spaceland. Yes. What is he actually right now? <laughs> this way, no one will find her body. And even if they do, they'll just assume that the death of her fiancé drove her to commit suicide. <laughs> he didn't tell him a rule or something. I apologize for questioning hmm. all of you like that, but I'm L. <laughs> I just care. I've determined that Kira is not among us. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> How can you be certain? From the beginning, I said perhaps that would reveal if any of you was Kira, but after hmm. speaking with you one on one, I don't feel the need. <laughs> Unbelievable. He tells us to turn off our cell phones. Exactly. Understood. I'm just about finished here anyway. What Hattie's on his way. Uh -huh. <gasps> so that's everything. I'd like to report this incident to my father. It would be best to do it as soon as possible. Uh, that makes sense. Just ten seconds until 1.15. I have to admit, I'd really love to see how she dies. Something's gonna... Something's not gonna happen. Should have happened already. She gave a fake name, Dre. That's why Reeve was laughing. My experiments indicate that the in a situation name. like this, I should be able to control a person's actions. This is interesting. Just like that when I was writing in the death note. That's true. And that's not all. I remember thinking it was bizarre how he laughed when I asked for her name. He in was fact, really an alias. Of course. That's what I said. I thought you gave him a fake name. That would only make sense. Right. Gentlemen, it's an honor to meet all of you. He's the only one that can contact L, of course. Oh, exactly. He's like the Alfred. Ordinarily, I would never show the my face to But you remember his outfit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's trench that you've won Ryozaki's trust. <laughs> nervous Why are you so nervous? I brought those items you requested. It's all here. Oh, Could I you see please this. pass them out to everyone? Gentlemen, these are your new police IDs. Uh, but what for? Ryuk knew all along. He could see her real name with his eyes. That's why he wouldn't stop laughing. Exactly. Oh. He sees everything. Be cautious from the beginning. She believes that Ray died because he showed his ID to Kira. So, of course she'd be careful not to reveal her own identity. Facts. If I'm too persistent, she'll get suspicious. Exactly. What am I saying? It looks suspicious that I even knew she was using an alias. Alias, exactly. Someone from the task force might be back there by now. Oh, yeah. You could be right. Yeah. Damn it. I'm running out of options here. Oh, no. What if my father calls back now? If this phone rings, it's all over for me. What am I going to do? He's not trying to laugh. This is crazy. All I have to do is turn my cell phone off. <laughs> Problem solved. Is he actually gonna have to kill her with his hands? She's gotta have a driver's license or some kind of personal identification on her somewhere. He doesn't have to do that. After all, I suppose if I had to, I could use force. No, I can do this. And you think she can't defend herself? She's a top. She's a top cop. Give me her real name. Hey, light. You know that deal I mentioned is still open. Oh. Contact lenses. Would I be willing to give up half my life? Just so I could learn this woman's real name. Half your remaining, not half your life. Exactly. Half your remaining. I wouldn't. In fact, it's not even worth considering. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, do you still have business at the police station then? I'd like to go there by myself, if you don't mind. Our names and ranks are false. Why did you give us fake IDs? 
As you know, Kira requires a name and a face to kill. I think it should be obvious why. Yes, but of all people, the police shouldn't use fake IDs. Enough. What choice do we really have given the capabilities of our enemy? I think we're going to need all the protection one can get. Every precaution. Not to use them. Remember, Never face the enemy like this. a situation where you have to give out your name to a stranger, make sure to use the name from your fake ID. Understood? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And be careful not to take them out while in the presence of other police officers. Mm -hmm. Of course. I I'd like to request that you wear these at all times. GPS. Uh, belts? This will allow Ryozaki to monitor your whereabouts. He's the real Alfred. And when you press the buckle twice like this, my cell phone will ring. Wow. In the morning, all of you will go to the police station as usual. Then, later on in the day, we'll use this method to confirm the name of Ryozaki's hotel and his room number. I feel like some kind of secret agent going after Kira. Quiet, Bruh. Matsuda. Exactly. This is not the time to be fooling around. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> Slump <laughs> shoulders. He was the one that could confirm it. At this rate, when she goes to the police with her theory about Kira being on that bus, and they look at all the people Ray Pember was investigating, it won't take them long to zero in on me. Mm. <laughs> Think. I need her real name, and I don't have much time to spare. Bruh. A death note? How to use it. A god of death has no obligation to completely explain how to use the note, or rules which will apply to the human who owns it. Hmm. No he has no reason to tell you the rules, which will apply to the human who owns it. So he... So Ryu put in selectively the rules that he felt comfortable expressing mm -hmm. to make sure he can maximize his fun watching this human. Exactly. Okay, next rule. A god of death can extend his life by putting human names on the note, but humans cannot. Right, he gets half of their remaining lifespan. Or, no, he gets, the, the, yeah, the remaining lifespan. So if they're 40 and they're supposed to die at 60, he gets 20 years. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Can this Ryuk still write in the, the book? police station and someone from the task force has returned by then, it'll all be over for me. Only three minutes left until she reaches the station. All right. Oh, what you doing? Excuse me. Yes? That's right. Keep the conversation going. I just need to find something that she can latch on to and I've got her. Didn't you find it odd that there was no one at task force headquarters? Uh. Yeah. Uh, let me explain. The task force has been organized so that its members can't be identified and nobody on the outside knows who's in charge. If the members' names were ever made public or the structure of the task force was revealed, we'd likely see another tragedy along the lines of the one that claimed your fiancé's life. Smart. Guys, reverse and He's smart. He's murdered to get into her good grace. That's Psychotically why we were told smart. earlier that yeah. no one was at task force headquarters. <laughs> That's pretty clever. If this is supposed to be a secret, then how do you know so much? Oh. Guess I spoke too soon. She's sharp. You leave me no choice. It's because I'm actually a member of the task force. Huh? El is Prove currently it. in charge of the task force, and he's leading our investigation. Yes. To be honest, I already suspected that. Despite the fact that I'm a high school student, he brought me on board to help out with the investigation. After all, I've helped them solve cases in the past. El trusts you then. You see, these days the task force is made up of a chosen few, an elite group of people handpicked for the job by L. And he's still giving you this random information after you gave him an alias. <laughs> Not a very good cop. Thanks for explaining. But just to be safe, I'd like to try and visit the task force headquarters again. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Done. Uh, please, wait a second. They won't let you talk to anyone. I know, but I was hoping I could speak with L directly. Oh, and come to think of it, who's at the police station right now? Actually, no one's there at the moment. That's not good news. We need someone there at all times. Work in shifts if you have to. Aizawa, I'll put you in charge of that for today. I'm on my way. Won't take me long. Ms. Maki, please, wait a second. It's literally impossible to meet L. This is pointless. I think that there's a chance that he'll meet with me. He might remember who I am. You see, I worked under him in a case in the U.S. about two years ago. Uh, are you serious? You worked under L? Up until three months ago, I worked as an FBI agent. <sighs> this is it. Finally something I can use. From the beginning, I knew I had to do things outside the regular channels because from my perspective, both the police and the members of the task force were suspects. But I'm certain that I can trust L. Maybe it's unrealistic. 
But I think that if I go to headquarters and I give them my name, there's a chance that they'll let me speak with him directly. Oh my god. But if the only person you could trust with this info was L, then why me? I'll be honest with you. It's because you remind me of L. There's something about you that's just like him. Mm -mm -mm. I told you all were brothers. Will you investigate wow. this case with me? Brothers from another oh, mother. I want you to come work with us as part of the task force. We could use your help. It wouldn't be that difficult for you to join. All you need is some valid identification, a recommendation from a current task force member, and of course you need to get Elle's permission. Hmm. You want me to join the task force? I'd like to be the one to recommend you. Here he comes. I mean, even if you acted as a consultant on this investigation, it would be a great help. I'm sure you have personal obligations to attend to, not to mention the fact that you live in the United States. Before all this happened, I thought I'd continue living in America with my fiance, but now he's gone, so I'm you not ruined sure it what all. to do anymore. But you're young and beautiful, and you've got your life ahead of you. Why put Bruh. it all in danger for this? Now that Ray's gone, I've got nothing to lose anymore. I want to catch Kira. Please wow. let me investigate this case with you. <laughs> yes, of course. I just need to see some form of identification before we proceed. You see the name I gave you earlier? Well, it wasn't actually my real name. I'm so sorry. I'm impressed by how incredibly thorough you've been. But I suppose that's just further proof of your capabilities. So will a Japanese driver's license do the trick then? Sure. Oh, no. No! No! I made it in time. He's writing down her name. I didn't see either of them. Uh, so, if you don't mind my asking, why do you keep checking your watch? I guess it's because... Because I'm Kira. <gasps> Second. What's the matter? There's something I have to do. Hmm. My father's cell phone might be available now. Do you want to see if you can talk to him? No, thank you. I have nothing to say to him. Then goodbye. Now, Mimi Sora. Oh my god. I thought she was gonna make it through, bruh. Oh my gosh. Sky. Me, I wanted to know, like, if couldn't the Shinigami alter, like, the weather? Like, how, why did it start snowing? Which made him pull out the thing, which made him block his vision from seeing those people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was crazy, that set of circumstances, right? Because right. even when she walked away, the snow wasn't there anymore. That's true. And, and Ryuk was laughing insanely when that happened, too. I thought he was laughing because the thing was... Com her, her, she was pulling out her driver's license. I mean, honestly, his persistence in this episode really should have got him, really should have got him caught. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like, I thought she was going to catch him, like, asking too many questions. Literally, like, come on, bro. Like, ah, oh, it sucks that she's gone, though. <sighs> like, he was his his strategy was smart about you know telling them that he's part of the task force and so on and so forth. But like, yeah, it was, it was. Uh, I was hoping that she was gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? It was an interesting episode. Like, I thought, like, exactly. I thought that his digging was gonna get him. I thought that his digging was gonna get him in a lot more trouble. You know what I'm saying? But like, he's clearly playing it. He's playing it too close. You know what I'm saying? You see that, like, the, even the public situation, he had three minutes to decipher how to find a way to kill her, and he was, he was struggling. You know what I'm saying? And, true say, even though he said, oh, maybe I should do it by force, you're not leaving behind fingerprints, DNA, you're not going through a struggle, you're not getting scratched, you're not thinking, you're, you, 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 what fighting skills do you have, bro? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Don't like, know. Fuck. like you, you think you're a god, but you're, you're not actually one. You know what I'm saying? You're just a, you're just a possessor of a, of a notebook. Which which actually puts you in limbo, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you 
you got to send you're sending everybody off to death and you're not looking forward to your own because you know the circumstances that you're under now you know what i'm saying so now you're going to become a god of this world and then go into limbo in the in the nether realm you know what i'm saying but i really thought he was going to get caught today and not today but i mean caught by those things i was really so upset the girlfriend's dying the fiance is dying oh i was really digging the belts that l had the double click belts that, yeah. that call albert right, right away that i thought that shit was pretty sick and the fake IDs, like, that's that's going to be an interesting one, too. Because that's the thing, like, you know what I'm saying? That whole situation where the guy passed him, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he... No, he probably... The thing is, I don't... I'm not sure. Because the thing is, he did help out on a previous investigation. So, does he already know the names of all the officers that work with his father? You mm. know what I'm saying? So, like, if the guy would have showed him his ID, would he be like, Oh, no, that's Ray, not uh, Jonathan. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Another dope episode. Another dope episode. Uh, so I like that little, t the little, the little, um, the little story they wrote in of every time that Ryuko laughs, like something's gone astray. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the thing is, he's just there to be entertained. It's you know tell, he's just sign. a bystander. Yeah. He's just a bystander. Yeah. And then I actually like was able to decipher that the laughs all went in, it went in, went in sync with a certain moment when she mentioned her name, her alias, when she said this. You know what I'm saying? So. He, He's, 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 he's super smart and he's super dangerous because he has the death note. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I'm glad they didn't show her death, though. Like, just, yeah. walking, just seeing her walk up those stairs was so <laughs> fucked up, bro. Like, and the thing is, well, in, the, in two episodes ago, they were arguing. Ray's like, you said if I took on the, um, the Kira case, you wouldn't no, do or say anything crazy. You know what I'm saying? And now she's gone crazy because her husband, her fiance, who was invested in the case, has been taken away by the this god of death, Kira. You know what I'm saying? And now, upon investigating it, she hands her ID to him. Oh, my God. What an incredible story. Light should work for them Indian scammers. You'd get all the information. <laughs> and like all the and like like the way they have um the way they have L set up in the hotel room like that's the thing like when he was wa walking back to the hotel I thought he was gonna decipher that the hotel she was going to was not the task headquarters but L's hotel but I remember L is saying that like he's like you guys come in staggered sets so like you know what I'm saying like. Mm. And the thing is, he also was already aware that the police headquarters were supposed to be there. So I'm guessing it was the old police headquarters or like assembling a, a assembly room. Because you remember when she was at the, the lobby mm -hmm. and she was asking directly for police chief and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So he was aware of it, too, because he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been there otherwise. Right. And then the fact that the guy walked from behind him means that they weren't headed towards L's else thing they had already passed it. You know what I'm saying? So I, just those little tidbits. I'm like, man, they're building a really great game of chess here and we've got to get on to the next move yep. so thank you all for joining us for this latest episode of death note be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video let us know what you thought of the episode down in the comments and be sure to go over to our patreon and check out our full length uncut reactions or simply support our channel i'm pretty and i'm drake the beauty and the beauty we're signing off to the next one Peace.